Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about for the term and exam for revision grade 9 advance and in this video we are going to discuss about question number 4. I'll try to explain you all possible questions for this and I'm sure you will understand this. So what is the question? Use the given information to determine which lines are parallel if any okay so just to, before starting this question i'll tell you some basic things about this you see the lines which are parallel to each other like this they are called parallel lines and the line which cuts them like this which intersects them it is called transversal line what we say transversal lines and there are various terms like corresponding angles co-interior angles, alternate interior angles. I have explained it all these things in detail my, in my video. If you have missed that, then please see that video. Okay, let's start the question. Here they say measurement of angle 3. So where is angle 3? This is angle 3 and angle 7. They are equal to each other. Now, what type of angles they are? They are alternate interior angles. What type of angles they are? alternate interior angles so they are equal they are equal means these two lines will be parallel to each other so line a will be parallel to line b okay by this statement we can conclude this result that a line will be parallel to b line why because alternate interior angles are equal similarly we can have this part also measurement of angle 9 is equal to measurement of angle 11 so what is 9 here 9 is this side you can see and 11 is here so what you can see they are at the same place but different position and such angles are called corresponding angles what we say corresponding angles so if they are equal then no doubt lines will be parallel to each other so line a will be parallel to line b okay now another part of the question can be measurement of 2 is equal to measurement of 16 so here 2 is this side 16 where 16 go where this one okay so you see 2 is exterior angle 16 is also on another side of the line but exterior angle so what type of angles they are alternate what I told you alternate means different side of the line. So alternate exterior angle. Why exterior? Because they are on the outside of the line. So alternate exterior angle. So they are equal. So they are equal means line L will be parallel to line M. Because 2 is the part of line L and 16 is the part of line M. And A is working as the transversal this line. Okay. Now. Another question can be M, uh, sorry, measurement of angle 5 plus measurement of angle 12 is 180 degree. So, where is measurement of 5? 5 is this side and 12 is this side. So, what you can see here? They are called co-interior angles. So, co-interior angles means there is a property for that. What is the property? That their sum should be equal to 180. So, it means L will be parallel to M. Okay. Like this, you can conclude about the results easily. And I am sure you have understood this question. And if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge, then please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. And don't forget to miss my other videos, other questions for in the same playlist. Okay. Thank you.